All right, so in this video, we're taking a look at the new 2.4 gigahertz Express LRS uh, parts from Happy Model. So they have a micro module and three different types of receivers for the 2.4 gigahertz system. So the Express LRS firmware obviously is open source. I did a video on the 900 megahertz system previously. I'll link that down in the uh, video description. You guys can check that out. Basically, they have um, modified the hardware so that it will work for 2.4 gigahertz antennas. Uh, but I think the firmware is largely based on the same um, software. So uh, you, might, you, know, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but uh, you know, do let me know down in the comments. As far as my understanding is, it's uh, the same base software, and then they've uh, branched it off into the 2.4 gigahertz and the 900 megahertz systems. And I think the hardware is a little bit different, but the chips and stuff, um, the actual receiver parts are really tiny on the on these new 2.4 gigahertz parts. So first, let me just show you what comes with the, um, the micro module. There's gonna be a nano module at some point in the future. Uh, don't know when that's gonna come out. So get the module here. You get this 3D printed case for the module so that obviously it's a JR module bay case and then you get a uh, looks like an IPEX connector or micro FL to looks like SMA and then this is the antenna for the transmitter obviously shorter for 2.4 gigahertz and it's an SMA antenna and you get uh, screws and some sticky pad to hold the um, board inside the module there or inside the little case but this is what the uh, actual board looks like this is where you connect the antenna Get some jumpers there you got a micro USB port there that doesn't look like that's going to be accessible it's going to go in like this and then it's going to get covered up with those screws you can put those four screws in there and then obviously this will go into your radio uh, so whatever firmware updates occur, uh, we'll have to, you'll have to take this cover off to um, be able to access that port to be able to make those changes. But it um, looks like it's fairly straightforward. You just connect up the antenna like that. And then this will go in here. You have to obviously put the nut on the other side to hold it in place. Close it up and that will get your module going. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And nothing on the back side. Now, the receiver or the uh, the receivers are super tiny. So these are there's three types. There's this one called PPRX over here. That's like the the reference design that was actually originally designed by the Express LRS developers. And then they have uh, the EP1RX and the EP2RX. And then these are uh, designs from Happy Model. And my understanding is the main difference is in how the firmware is updated. So on the reference design, the PPRX, uh, the firmware on here will get updated via beta flight pass-through, so basically through your flight controller. And then on the newer, or I guess the other alternative receivers from Happy Model, these are the Happy Model designs, the EP1 and EP2, there's actually a, a different chip, a different MCU, that actually has a Wi-Fi antenna on there. So it would basically allow you to update the firmware on the receivers via Wi-Fi. Um, I don't have any details yet on how to do that specifically. So I'm gonna have a future video later to explain that because I didn't get a clear understanding of how that is done uh, via Wi-Fi. Obviously you have to connect to it probably through a smartphone app or something like that, I imagine. I wasn't too clear yet. Um, again, I'm gonna link all of the, the the stuff that I linked before in the other video, the 900 megahertz video in terms of the, the GitHub and the wiki pages and all that, they're probably gonna have more, more, more up-to-date information down the road. This is more or less a preview. I haven't actually flown this or tested this yet, um, but uh, it's gonna take some time to uh, get all this tested, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of this and that they are on pre-order now and I think uh, will be available in probably about a week after this video is out. But mainly I wanted to get the uh, size of these things just to scale this out there because it's just uh, amazing how tiny these are. So here is a standard Crossfire Nano receiver for 
from TBS. Pretty, you know, pretty standard. This is with the, uh, you know, regular uh, standard antenna, not the uh, immortal antenna. But here's the PP antenna. That's a reference design from Express LRS. And it's got this ceramic antenna on here. So there's no antenna connector. Obviously, there's going to be some debate about range or whatever. I, you know, we'll see. I haven't done any range testing yet, but yeah, this is incredibly tiny. I, you know, just can't really uh, depict how tiny these are. These, I'm afraid I'm going to lose them somewhere because they're so small. They literally look like about half the size of a Crossfire Nano receiver. And let's see how much this weighs. Yeah, so. Coming in at 0.42 grams. Now this uh, this one here is the EP2 design from Happy Model. Similar in size with the ceramic antenna, so with no external antenna. And there is a small little Wi-Fi antenna right there in the corner that you can barely see. It's, yeah, it's really hard to show. That is the connect as the antenna to connect to the chip to do the firmware updates, but I think it's the same size as the PP2. So here's the the PP receiver on the left, and this is the EP2 on the right. Let's see here. Yeah, they're about the same size. So this the in terms of the uh, transmitting or receiving chip is the same. It's just the uh, MCU is different. Uh, for the Wi-Fi uh, functionality. Let's see this. So they're about the same size. And then, uh, yeah, let's just see if it's probably the same weight. 0.44. And then this one here. I don't want to get these mixed up. This one here is the EP1 design with the, again, there's the, the Wi-Fi antenna. And this one has the Micro FL connector, the IPEX connector. I think it's IPEX 4. And then you get uh, two types of antennas here. You have a 40 millimeter antenna and a 90 millimeter antenna that's included in the package. You can buy these separately if you break them or lose them. Those are also available. With, obviously, this is going to be a little bit lighter because it doesn't have the ceramic antenna in there, but of course, you, have, you don't account for the weight of the antennas themselves. That'll actually increase the weight. So 0.39 no antenna and here's the uh, 40 millimeter antenna that will make the weight 0.81 and with the 90 millimeter antenna it goes up to 0.96 so obviously if you're going to go for the lowest weight you want one of the ones with the ceramic antenna and obviously it's not going to take up a lot of space other than the fact that the antenna the ceramic can just stick up a bit so you do have to account for that but you can definitely put this into some really small whoops or something like that weighs almost nothing and you're going to get like massive amounts of range on something that's not going to have the flight time to fly that far. Um, you basically for anything that you're going to be putting this into that's really small and light isn't going to have enough battery to fly to the limit of this receiver. I'm pretty sure about that. And you can put these into something bigger and possibly see what the, ma the maximum range is. Uh, but why would you want to put something with a minimalistic antenna like this into something that's much, much bigger when you can just put it, you know, just go with a bigger antenna? I mean, the half a gram weight isn't going to cost you anything on a 7-inch. So, yeah, uh, kind of, it's kind of pointless to put putting something like this on a 7-inch to see what the maximum range is. Uh, this is going to go into something more like a 3-inch or something smaller. And uh, the flight time of those is going to be short to the point that you're not going to be able to run out of the range of whatever this is. Pretty sure about that, but yeah, if you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments uh, if you have different findings. Uh, my understanding is uh, the range on this is pretty similar to the 900 megahertz parts. Uh, obviously, it's going to be somewhat di different with these ceramic antennas, but it's just I just don't see it running out based on just battery life of something that uh, is tiny and what this might go into. Anyway, more videos on this later. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.